Hello, my little buttercups. She paints. I'm gonna paint for you. And uh, as as is very typical, I was late. I didn't know it was Sunday, so I feel like you'll be a little forgiving. <laughs> Maybe. I was like, this is actually Sunday night, and um, that's not I go live on YouTube painting for the things and the people. So I'm gonna get started and show you what I'm doing. If you need a Mother's Day gift, I got you covered. If she wants a little painting, if not, then. Uh, you know, paints and brushes and that's all I can offer you. But um, I'm going to do a floral. I was asking over on Facebook and uh, they seem to think that I should probably do a floral with like three flowers, the big peony kind of thingies. Oh, and I forget to look. Hi, Heather. Oh, thank you for coming on over here as I figure out not to do that. How do I? Anyway, hey, I got to show you this. Hi, Billy. I'm so glad you ladies are here. About a half an hour ago, I was Looking on Facebook like, I want some company. You know, I feel like I have company to paint and do the things. And it's like, nobody, why isn't anybody on? Oh, Kristen, because it's midnight, that's why. And I thought, um, I could go live. And then I went, I was supposed to go live anyway. So here I am. Um, I'm gonna, I've got this, I covered over um, a portrait. Can you see, that's kind of creepy. You can see the eyes. Uh, I was trying to do it, my son, my younger son. I can't paint him right. I have not been able to do it yet. Um, but I thought I would offer, I'm gonna paint. Hi, Lisa. Uh, just a three flower one. This is one I learned from Kelly Weiler of Girl Up Cycles to you, who has a channel here as well. Um, but I'm also going to offer, because I was doing this for a friend's daughter on her wedding day, because look how beautiful. I mean, she didn't have a face really, but she, she kind of looked like that. So it's gorgeous. And I thought, you know, without a face, I can do abstract, you know, girls pretty and women pretty quickly. And I could do a bunch of these for Mother's Day gifts as well. So if you think it would be a good gift for a mother to have maybe her daughter's wedding day or just friends, I don't know. You did that too, Heather? Oh, this. Oh, I bet you did. I was like, you paint. You just not painted a, a, girl, a woman on her wedding day? I'm um, Yeah, I love it. I was like, oh, I just love it. Of course, I haven't sold it yet. It's kind of been for sale for, what, a year? I don't know. I mean, I haven't done a good job of promoting it, but, but I'm going to do this kind of model just to show the people that see the video. Um sort of three thingies, because this is just an eight by 10, but for, for um, it'll be, these will be $30 with, that includes shipping. Thank you, Tess, of A Southern Story, giving us that. Um, she's been doing that as well, that's a good, it's a good thing. So I'm gonna paint the floral on here, and um, it's just a, it's a little eight by 10, little canvas. So um, the price would be, you know, $25 or so, but I'm gonna include shipping because nobody likes to hear, oh, plus the shipping. So, I'm going to say 30 bucks, and you can have a painting customized within reason to give to your mama for Mother's Day. And it just takes like two, three days to ship them out. So, they would get there in time unless you're international, in which case, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, uh, but I thought I would offer this as well. Just a simple, like, dress um, and the girl with the hair color, background, whatever. Um, if I figure mothers want. I would love a painting of my daughter on her wedding day. I'm going to do one. But before I could paint, I would have loved that. So, but I'm going to do this sort of. So here I go. I'm going to leave that up there. And I've got this up there too, just for a background. I find I don't like the back of the easel just by itself when they're a little bitty like this. I don't like it. All right. Well, I did this again where I'm going to spin around. You know how babies do that? When they can, they sit up and they, okay. I'm going to start with my kissing booth because I just always do pretty much. So, ladies, I feel silly, like, you know how to do this. But for my YouTube people that might be learning that I'm doing this and want to watch, I'm going to uh, just paint for you. That was scary, wasn't it? Here we go. Hey, Jennifer. <sighs> I've not sent you the other invoice. I'm sorry. It's just because it's been the weekend and um, not enjoying myself, which is my own fault. Because, hello, work from home. Don't have children at home. Ah, okay, it's a it's a thing. It's been um, beautiful here. I don't know about where you are. So my husband and I sat outside for a little bit. But ooh, it's windy. Ooh, windy, windy. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start with uh, a hot pink, big old peony, or I'm just gonna call it a posy, because I never have that good of a. A um, plan there. You know, did I spray the water? I didn't. 
And then I'll cover this up more, but I was covering up the face. So I'm just gonna do this a little bit. I mean, obviously it'll be abstract. I'm gonna learn, I'm gonna do like a study of flowers and really get one where it's really realistic, but I haven't done that yet. So um, I will see your comments here later. And so if you are just joining and you're like, what is this lady, what is she doing? Uh, she's not even looking at us. Um, I will look later. I want to paint for you, and I will get distracted and not do a very good job of painting if I'm trying, still trying to talk to you, which I'm going to do for right now. And then I will go back. Oh, a dog on it. Nice, Billy. Oh, I'm so jealous. Stop that. Because non-objective floral, not abstract floral. Non-objective. Thank you, Heather. I need to study that, too. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow instead of the other stuff. I might study, because I have looked up, um, initially I looked up Impressionism and uh, in Expressionism, those kind of things, so I wouldn't be completely ignorant, but this one needs to be different. I don't know, I'd call that pretty abstract. <laughs> it's supposed to be a flower. Depends on how well I do, honestly. Okay, I'm going to add the cowgirl coral, because what I want to do is have one that's mostly pink and one that's a pinky corally and then one that's a lighter pink that's what seems to be pleasing I know I like it myself so I'm going to add uh, to this one because that just seems too dark I'm just gonna do this a little bit and then I will do more later, like if someone says, hey, I want that one, I won't leave it like this. And I have a hard time when I'm doing the live, when it's a person, then I can just follow the lines and do the things for the, for the people. But when it's something like this where I don't have a, well, I actually do have, I guess I have a model. I should look it back, look at it again. Honestly, let me look. Okay, all right. I'm gonna bring in the white, that's what will help a lot. I'm just going to put a little coral up here, and it will mix with my petticoat pink, which is looks white on the camera. Um, it's a pale blushy kind of pink, and that's going to be too um, symmetrical, so I'll add leaves and things. What do you think about that? I'm going to get my base kind of colors in there, I think, first. My problem is I end up, I want to add the colors to all of them. If I don't want them to be the same, I want them to be different. Uh, let's think. Um, let me see if I can see. Oh, the comments. Nope, that's not it. Yes, that's it. Impressionistic. 102, Billy. Wow. Heather, and where are you? I'm sure I've asked before, but I can't remember these things. I'm going to, though. You know what? I'm going to use a little acrylic because I'm going to see what this color does in addition to my paint. Um, for those of you who will watch this later and are watching now and say, what the heck is that paint? paint? And it's great to paint with. That looks too red, doesn't it? Wow. What is up with that? We can make that a, a low light color, but that's not. That does not look as pink as I thought it was. Never mind. And it's wonderful to work with because it makes texture without a texture medium if you want. But I can also, the main thing for me, <laughs> is that you can, um, yeah, and that's too orangey too. Uh, once acrylics dry, then you can't work with them anymore. You can scrape them off or sand them or layer over them, but it will, you're, that's, you're, you're set. And that is not how I like to paint. I'm fairly new at, at um, canvas painting. And it lets you do this kind of thing, and then, oh, I wish I could show you the, well, it's not here. No Cinco. <coughs> Ladies, do you have that where you, it's the older I get, I think, like a, a crying baby or um, the dog, like anybody who needs anything, I get all, blah. Hey, BJ, I can't stand it. It's sort of like a, it sets off something. I literally have to just ignore, oh, like, man. it's okay. Cinco, honey, you don't have to go to the bathroom that much. Don't make me feel like you do. I can't take it. Uh-uh. No. No. Oh, I hear you. You 
you guys hear the dog? Oh, that's good. Shoot. Can you wait just a minute? It's kind of treat him like I did when the children were little and like give him a treat before I go live. Lord. It's in the middle of the night here, Sanctum. You do not need, uh-uh. So I meant to say, um, if you're new to me here or on Facebook, but do know you can ask me a question or make a comment and we'll see it uh, later, even if I don't see it right now. Try to, I try to keep on task. It's not super easy for me, but it's all good. Thank you, Cinco. Now the background, I need to do some, usually do the background first, but not always, I'm not going to. Um, I'll have to read that. I'm gonna stop right now and do uh, the background and then do the leaves real quickly. Um, what should I put on the background? No, no, no. I had apothecary. Would, purple would look a little weird, wouldn't it? Not purple, but. <laughs> Let's just do a paint French millinery and see what it looks like. It's, it's not the right color wheel and all those things, but. I'm gonna try it anyway, and then maybe I will, and then I'll add a bunch of white to it. Will this be a mistake? Oh my gosh, I literally, I have to run, let him out the door. I'm sorry. Yes, okay, yes, you're, you're maligned. Oh, that was very good, okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I have to reward him for that, that was good. That's almost pretty, isn't it? Maybe it's not. I would it. And add some white or cream or something. Look how pretty that is. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, all right. Oh my gosh. I'll have to add. Oh my gosh, are you guys hearing that? Can you hear him? Let me see. I don't see the comments. Okay, Cinco Puppy. Hey, BJ. Me too, Lisa. I think we talked about that. Yes, it's Cinco. Okay, puppy. Okay. I just can't think. Like, what if he really has to pee? And he's in his doggy mind. He's like, but she makes me do this thing, and I'm doing this thing, and I still can't go. I can't. I just don't have that not giving a rip button. I wish I did. Okay. Um, he is talking. That's what I tell him to do. I, I train my dogs to do that because I can't stand the barking. Loud and I'm going to answer something. Thanks, Heather. Hi, BJ. You're not all too. And Lisa as well. Thanks, Billy. Okay, just a minute. All right, puppy. I'm sorry, one minute. It's just a tiny little break. It's right over here. Come on, let's go. Official. Um, I am now just done for the dog what I used to do for the children when there was a phone call. Do y'all remember this? Any of you who remember that? And let me back this up a little bit. And uh, the phone would ring and the baby or the toddler is like, wah, 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 wah. I was a handful of cereal, Cheerios, Skittles sometimes. Anybody else? And just be like, here, here, just take the candy. Be quiet. I gotta talk. I'm like, it's old cereal. It's just puffs. What a growing dog needs. What a spoiled rat. I didn't have to go outside. Which means he's completely spoiled and I'm so mad. And he's going in the crate after this. Okay, I didn't see what that was. Let me work on this a little bit. Oh, let me see if anyone said, no, no, not the purple. It is a little much, isn't it? Yes, Billy, absolutely. You got that right. Did anybody say, thank you, Heather. 
Lisa, go ahead and ask Heather. I don't mind at all. Goodness. Heather probably knows more about most of the things than I do even, so. Okay, I didn't see anything, anybody say, that's terrible. That purple is terrible. Um, I will add something to it, though. I mean, a white, maybe a white, white. Let's see what this is Because if I add green, that would be, yeah, I don't want green either. I guess yellow would have been pretty, wouldn't it? Like this one. Duh, Kristen. It's right there behind you. Okay. Well, you guys do that. This was just to show people what I can do uh, for someone who might want that. See, and that looks more abstract because now it's like this paper kind of thing. Anyway, let me add some greenery. I'm going to add some aviary, my favorite green uh, in the other paint line. I love it. I love it. I love it. Man, I am just, I heard a speaker the other day talking about, online, talking about um, how it's hard to say, like positive affirmations, things like you always hear, at least I start to make fun of, like, you tell yourself, hey, I'm, you know, the doggone it, people like me, that skit, um, but the, you know, I can do, I'm going to do this, I'm, I'm great at it, blah, 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 and like self-talk. I used to be like, that's ridiculous. That doesn't change reality. And now I know that actually there's something to it. Um, that Kristen's a little big. That it does, your brain, you know, it, it believes what we tell it to. So it's important that we're, the, the more we say, you know, you're an idiot or, you know, whatever we think is true, even if we don't think it is, our brain is like, that's right. That's what I know. It's familiar. That's true. You can't do this thing. So that's important, but still, there's, there's a fine line somewhere there. And I heard a guy was talking about, um, he said, it's hard. I, don't, you know, I, I believe in that, self, that, that positive self-talk thing, um, to tell your brain to be in the boss of those brain, because those thoughts that we have that are not ours, are not ours. Just like nightmares. I know y'all have heard me talk about this, probably. Because um, I always thought, but we're thinking our thoughts. It's us. But it's not. Think about thoughts that come in your, like your subconscious it's your brain trying to protect itself and just be like, let's just go with what we think we know. So that's, that's more abstract, isn't it? Because it's all like paper looking. Um, my point, I have a point. I look very um, rednecky today. It's fine. Um, I'm going to, oh, I'm so worried about my back getting hunched. It's just those things. We all have those things. If you'll sit and look at them, and think, what is it bother me? And if you pull it out and look at it, you'll be, you might be like, oh, <laughs> that's kind of silly. I let that stress me out, like, oh no, I'm getting old. It's, it's dumb. Anyway, my point was that we could say, um, instead of saying, you know, I will do this today, I'm incredible at this, we could say, what are you committed to? I'm committed to doing this thing better or you know, feeling this way on purpose or um, learning that thing or whatever. And I that resonated with me. I don't know about you guys. I can say I am committed to um, walking, you know, in God's peace that I know he promises is there, but you have to think of it consciously. Um, so it's this thing, I'm going to today. I can do it. I'm going to say I'm, I'm committed to finding that place every day. Every day. Because I um, don't want to live uh, without it. It's just... It's kind of a waste of a life, and we have this abundant kind of life that we can have. And there's a little leaf right there. We're going to make him perky. Perky. Eh. Perky. Not yet. Perky. Perky leaf. Mm -hmm. That looks kind of good. Here, I'm going to zoom in. Sorry, I forgot. There. And I don't know why, again, it's all, it looks like all bright, and then it's not. That's okay. I can say, that's okay. We're just looking for fun here. And then if I can paint and also um, give people a last minute gift for their moms, you know what? <laughs> I haven't finished my painting for my own mom. That's funny. I mean, not funny. Uh, we'll just put a little green there to break it up, right? There's a little thing and there's a little thing. And that's why I call it abstract, because I don't want to have to worry about, well, that wouldn't really be there. Mm -mm. I'm going to have to be able to make it chaotic if I need to. That's probably too much greenery. 
and too much, yeah, that's too symmetry, much symmetrical, isn't it? Hey, Heather. Actually, I have two paintings that I um, wanted to do and told her, actually, she's asked for one of them. It's a, uh, I think I put it in um, Dion, or not Dion's group, um, Anissa's. See, at this point, I need to cover over some of those or <laughs> keep going and make it home. <laughs> okay. I like to always kind of put some, something like that. But, all right. Let me add the pink and then we'll just go from there and see what we get. Uh, she gave me a photo of herself and her sister and a cousin when they were little bitty um, girls in Oklahoma on the dash, not the dashboard, the running board of an old truck. And um, they're just standing on the side of the truck and it's precious. And it's from like 1940 something. Amazing. Um, I'm going to paint that for her. And I also uh, made her stand with the frame thing, like when she they were here at Chris, whenever that was, um, when they came, they were able to see Kinley. And um, I'm gonna do that thing I seen it on Pinterest where the the mom is holding the picture frame, and you take a picture, and then you put the daughter inside that. I mean, the picture. Of, I'm gonna paint it, so I want to do that as well. Does that make sense? Here, I'm gonna move this one, but I, I need to ask on the Facebooks. I really need to go live tomorrow on Facebook and see if I have any takers for that one. This is kind of pretty, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Kristen, stop talking about the things and just do the things. Okay. All right, so did I just block that? Oh, I want to show you guys really bad. Okay, good. Thanks, Heather. Um, I just finished a painting. You and Some of you ladies have literally already seen it. Uh, I'm going to turn my I should be, theoretically. I'm bad about putting too much paint on my brush or my uh, palette knife. Theoretically, I should have just a little bit on the side so that I can add just tiny bits of where the light might hit instead of big smears. I like the big smears. I tend to do that more. So it makes for it not so accurate, but kind of delicious anyway. Um... Who's to say whether it's right or it's wrong? In this case, I should be doing that. That's how, <laughs> I don't have the patience, honestly, is the part of the problem. And then when I want something to look really good, I have to go back and do all these different things because I didn't have patience in the first place. But look how pretty. I know I said they were gonna be different colors. They're slightly different colors, aren't they? I'm using some of this, what is this? Hydrangea pink, which it's not a hydrangea pink at all. What's that about? All right. Um, that's <laughs> trying to make it look like it's falling over. Not doing so well. Let's see. It would the leaves could come out like that a little bit. I really should let that dry before I do an, another layer. That's probably not the problem. I'm gonna cover over some of those leaves though. Doggone it, why don't the comments just show without me having to stop and touch the screen? Thanks for the pretty hearts, ladies. We got pink ones, we got purple ones, I like it. Um, oh, I wanna show you the painting that I just did. Actually, no, not the painting, because some of you have seen that. I'll post that here. Actually, I'll post this here in the community tab. But I made a video while I was painting that scene from Penny Dreadful. I painted the whole thing with the video on so that I could, and then I've cropped it and sped it up so that you could just see it go from the girl and then I turned it on its side and then did the field and the thing and it went to the fire and the black, whatever she is, demon, I don't know what she is supposed to be really. Some sort of angel of death, I guess, or something. She's not an angel at all. Um, stop that, Kristen. Let me get darkest color where it would be a light color that would be showing over the top. So I wish I had some mixed the peach and the orange thingy. I'll do some yellow for the little centers, but that's just going to be little bits like that to me. Can I make this one falling out? Can you see that? I'm going to zoom in. That's pretty. I'm going to zoom in. So, anyone watching who never painted and so they maybe they think oh I could never do that I, I want you to have noticed how 
um, easy that is, and really the difference is mostly believing that you can. <laughs> if I had tried this a few years ago, I, I might have tried it and said, I can't do this. It's ridiculous. But I went at it going, you know what? I know I can do it. I've done it before. And so then you decide, oh, and your brain, when it's not all freaked out about, oh, no, can't do the thing, it, it tends to help you say, okay, yeah, just keep going. This looks good. I'm telling you. All right, I need to add some. Maybe. Yeah, this is too cold back there. I don't like it. All right, can you tell me what color to do the background, ladies? I'm serious, serious, serious. Mm. Oh, good, Heather. It's the brain. Well, we are our brains, if you think about it. That's why the, the girl on that uh, the channel, How to ADHD, that I used to talk about quite a bit, I need to get back to watching those right here on YouTube. That's why she says, hello, brains. Because I was thinking she's calling you smart people like you brain, but she means literally you're your brain. The way our brain works and processes things and then the things we tell it and the thoughts that are already there and you know the nature, the nurture, the things. That's who we are. And I find that kind of incredible. How about more white on at least the little vase, the little pottery thing? I'm so bad at that, this part. I'm going to put the light uh, right here. And so, yeah, that's, yeah. that's going to be pretty abstract too. Let's pretend like the light's hitting it right there and making a, <laughs> I've overdone it just like that. You liked the light purple, okay. Oh, wait, someone else said something. What did you say? Oh, goodness. Jennifer. <laughs> well, no, I couldn't charge for that. That's what, uh, initially, when I started doing lives and I ended up talking about this kind of thing, um, and then people like, you know, online coaches are like, you know, you're, you, people want, you know, they, they know I like, can trust. We're gonna watch people like that, that we have something in common or something. And I was like, well, what I end up talking to people about are these things, but I am not this, I'm not up there, I'm not licensed to do that. I can't be the, the business <laughs> I paint. I mean, I can do other things, but you know, giving therapy is not something I would ever be able to charge for. That is not. So I'm like, what do you do with that, huh? So I just keep going, that's what I do. Keep painting and working on selling your products and the things. But then if you have something that you think will help people, I'm sure not gonna not say it. Because I know how much I depend on people to say things to me that I need to hear that are helpful. That's, <laughs> yeah, you know, let's add another color to it. Maybe some actual white. Mm -hmm. Some white is white. There. And then I'll spray this. That probably should be, why is it acting like it's, Got wax or something? I was gonna kind of add white to this and make it lighter, but that's I mean, you can't have too much. See, I'd have to look at a study the light on a vase again. I've already forgotten. I just can't. I can't do it without a picture. Without a reference, can't do it. Kind of does that, but not really. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Oh, sorry, I'm a little too close, aren't I? And, and that's right in the center, too, isn't it? Some mama will want that. I'm going to put the French millinery back on, and then I'm going to, and then I'm going to go. Because I haven't gone for my walk yet, and that's something I've been trying to do. Is lose some weight. Not that it's helping, but maybe it is. Let's say that it is. So this, this French Mary almost is, it's a very gray purple lavender. Um, maybe it would look better with a different shade of the purple. It looks very springy, doesn't it? But, you know, Easter's over, so I don't know. What's something creative I could do to make it the purple but not all purple? Probably should be purple over here too. Lavender. Lavender blue, dilly dilly. Lavender screen. Something, 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 dilly dilly. Mm -mm, mm -mm. 
Who told me so? Billy Billy, who told me so? I told myself. Billy Billy, something like that. So you should do the background first. But if you don't, so what? I kind of like the white around it, honestly. That's kind of pretty. Maybe I can go back with a highlight color or something. Oh, Impressionistic. Yeah, I don't know what the... Um, Heather, to me it feels like, though, when I see Impressionist paintings, you can really see the brush strokes, and it's not a palette knife at all. And so, I, but, I mean, she knows more about art than I do, for sure. I'm just kind of thinking that Impressionist is they used... It's not this um, impasto, it's... You can see the brush lines, but maybe it means this too. That would be great. But I stopped saying Impressionist because I thought, you know what? I don't know if you could call this Impressionist. It Literally, it does mean, I mean, it's an impression of flowers. That's, but I don't know. If you know the answer to that, Heather, or anyone, please let me know. I'm going to leave it like that. And then, maybe if it has dried, it doesn't have the same. Yeah, I find that really pretty, honestly. I'm just going to say it. That's really pretty. <laughs> So pretty, and you saw how easy that was because of the paint. I'm telling you, it's my paint. It is a DIY paint. Because when I can't go back over it, when I'm using acrylics and I go, oh, I can't, I don't know what to do with it now. And they're delicious. You can get them at ShePaintStudio.com. I'm not used to saying my new website name. ShePaintStudio.com, and I have um, palette knives, brushes there, and uh, a couple pieces of canvas art. Oh! Ladies, while you're still here, or whoever's here, I have repainted the background of the nude. So my nudie lady, I'm working on it. And I would love to get feedback on that as well. Uh, I decided it hasn't sell, sold because, I mean, I love what Anissa does, but it was like those purples and maroons. And I think I, it occurred to me, I don't, you should always ask yourself if we're selling something, like do I, would I want to buy it? And if not, why not? I was like, I don't want purple and maroon on my wall. So I'm going to lighten her up and give her a little bit of coral or something. So I'm still working on that, I'm not sure. Covered up the leopard print a little bit, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna look at your comments, I can't see them. Here it is. I reject it. I love, it. thank you BJ. Oh, cherry picked BJ, good idea. I'm gonna go ahead and go and then, um, hold on. And I do not have it right there. Okay, but thank you. I will put some there and uh, and add it to that somewhere. Maybe, yeah, maybe just around the bottom to sort of ground it here. Or maybe on the edges. I forget about cherry picked. How can I forget? I actually love it. And I don't usually look any kind of a purple, but it's a delicious plummy eggplant. All right, ladies, I'm going to go. Oh, yeah, Lisa? Um, well, I probably will... Not at it tonight since I haven't even added the br all the brushes that I have yet. But I need to, don't I? Oh, I, did I just have a spot in front of my eyes? <laughs> I was like, there's nothing in front of my face. Oh no, it, it's. Is it legitimately something hanging? Y'all, I'm about to have a moment here because I feel like there's something hanging in front of my face, but I don't think that there is. Maybe I have a floater on my contact or something. <laughs> um, so Lisa, I will put it there. And also, um, if someone buys this uh, tomorrow or something, I mean, let me know really if you really want it. Um, $30 that includes shipping. Message me. Um, because also, I've started taking photos of everything. And I can make print. I've got prints at society6.com. Um, okay, interesting. I'm going to do more nudes. I do have some people that want smaller nudes, like more affordable uh, smaller nudes that I could do maybe without the mixed media probably too because I don't know I mean I love it but it's also it's a little too different for me I'm like oh she's got some stuff on her spine it's florals and it's Florida Lee and it's it's awesome but I don't know it was fun to do though okay Lisa well it's yours I will um well do you want me to add cherry picked or was that that wasn't you was it I let it dry and seal it and stuff. But I was going to say that um, I will I have that for all of my paintings now. I'm making sure I have a good photo uh, in case it sells so that I can, I've got prints of it as well. So 
Um, someone else can have it. Um, actually, I don't know. The price for this, though, is less than the prints are because the prints are bigger. I, I shouldn't talk business this late at night. I have no idea. Okay, Lisa, I'll put some on there. Where do you want it, girlfriend? It's a custom right here live. I love it. How amazing is the internet? I'll, I'll get you. I'll make a live something. I'll paint it live. A custom thing. Oh, let's just do it right now. I mean, can you imagine what? 5, 10, 15, 20 years ago? Not possible. Oh, and I can't see where you want it. Would you prefer it? Uh, um, oh, okay, Lisa. I guess I will. I'll wait till I get off of here and go get it and just add a little bit. Yeah, it will sort of bring out that kissing booth a little bit. Okay. Well, ladies, thank you for watching. I appreciate you coming over here. Um, I appreciate it a lot. It means a great deal, and it's um, great for my little business as well, all the things. So um, have a good night, and okay, thank you, Heather. I'll do it. Thank. Free lessons. I just spit. Um, all right. Thank you guys for watching, and I do mean to, um, I'm going to put it on my calendar, because that's what I'm starting tonight fresh is we can start fresh anytime we want that's amazing um to i mean there are consequences but we can still keep going you too billy thank you have a good night i was going to say i'm going to go back to trying to do saying you know 10 30 central whatever dion goes live every night as well and i know she wouldn't care but i still don't want like knowing she's going live like i'm going to i don't know i want to try to wait a little bit so it's I think she goes on at 9.30 maybe. And so I'd go on at 10.30, 10, 10.30 on the YouTubes. Good night, ladies. Good night, ladies. Good night, ladies. I'm going to leave you now. I'm a dork. Anyway, I'm going to do that consistently. And um, gonna start, I'm, I'm also committed, besides living with peace, the kind that passes understanding, because obviously you can't stop things from happening, um, to get my the things in order, which... People with ADD and all of us kind of say all the time, I'm going to get that organized. But I'm committed to like it's going to happen. There's nothing stopping me, and that means that there's no reason that I can't work at something 10 minutes at a time, 30, an hour, whatever it takes, a little every day. If I had started organizing my photos app back when I started like going, oh, no, like two years ago, an hour at a time, it would be done by now. It's just you, you start it and you go, ah, it's going to take five days this is ridiculous but a little bit at a time still gets it done that's tweetable it's not very catchy a little bit at a time still gets it done not very catchy okay i'm gonna go thank you ladies and um, i'll talk to you soon